Hey guys, in this video I do an unboxing and overview of Sony's Handycam for 2014, the HDR PJ810E, E for the European version. Inside of the box you get your <coughs> instruction manual, setup guide and an accessory booklet as well that illustrates all the available accessories for this Handycam. Um, so that's pretty good to have. Uh, inside of the box your first accessory is the AC power adapter which is USB powered out you are provided a USB support cable for that AC adapter um, because your Handycam has a uh, it's got a USB cable attached to it that you that you could charge your battery you get your um, HDMI cables for <coughs> all your outputs functionality to your TV and everything else you get a wireless remote control that controls the various functions of course of the handy cam and then further in the box you get the standard battery which you do have to charge and this pretty much only gives you a maximum i think of two and a half to three hours of battery life it's only eight um i think 900 milliamp by the side you've got your step down ring um for your lens so if you've got various accessory that you need to step down in size um so you, you've got that accessible to you and then lastly you got the handycam and there's nothing else pretty much in the box and that is it now surprisingly the handycam i was expecting it to be very very heavy it looked kind of heavy but uh, it's quite fairly light nice and portable in size again right there in front you get i think it's the main key highlights is the projector of this handycam it does come with a 32 gigabyte um, built-in uh, memory which is handy battery plugging in is quite fairly simple lock it in place it locks in and if you want to take it out just slide the button there underneath and it will slide the battery um, out uh, projector i have to admit i i'm really i'm enjoying the projector the quality of it it's not hd but uh it's still um still a great feature to have it really is so I, i've been enjoying that right there on top you've got the focus um dial for the projector so to just put it in focus if it's out of focus you've got a little button right there to switch between the camera mode uh, which is 24 megapixel which is uh, excellent to have and then you've got your movie mode hd you've got your 5.1 um surround microphone which is it's okay but still um external microphone it's a lot better you've got your zoom um in and out you've got your photo button and then you've got the adjustment of the viewfinder it does come in with a viewfinder i have to say the quality of the view viewfinder is not great at all it looks vga it's horrible the viewfinder yeah it p comes out and at the same time it tilts itself up so that's pretty cool it's just the quality of that view viewfinder is uh pretty horrible um very disappointed in that the viewfinder can power up the camcorder um you know by just the led inca indicator indicates it to you right there off and on your shoe um, shoe mount up there uh, again it's uh you could see right inside of it you've got the connections uh that's there to power up whatever accessory that you're going to uh, insert um so that's uh useful to have always you got your manual dial so to adjust various form of settings so you got the manual adjustment there it dials uh up and down and increase and then you've got of course a little button in there uh, which is quite nifty to uh, select the various different settings to take full manual control of it's a g lens so I guess that's kind of disappointed you you expected sony's top of the range lens but the this is a g lens and then you've got that uh, flash right there in front you've got your strap which is adjustable to the size suitable for your to your hand size or what is more comfortable for you um <coughs> it's a uh, again once you get you once you get your size uh, adjusted it's nice and comfortable to hold in the hands not really heavy i, I, I thought it was going to be heavy but it's not You've got that USB uh, built in into the cam, which charges the battery and at the same time it transfer data as well. So that's quite kind of handy to have. It, it depends on the user. It, it can be a pain or it can be handy. You've got your DC in right there just underneath, underneath the stop and start um, button. 
again everything's nicely positioned underneath you got that you check for battery in and right there you got a slot for your tripod uh, you got your power charge indicator you get as well your microphone input headphone input and then among to multifunction input as well um, that's nicely covered up and tucked away there and that's the camera in general this is how it looks um, light not very light but light um, nice portable size towards it and it's packed with a load a load of features uh, so you know it is a a uh, decent uh, handy cam. Now one thing to note that LCD screen is fat. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm used to different cams so even my DSLRs and you know being nice slim line but this one is quite fairly fat. It's got this nice little flap there by the side of it to pull it out. The angles it covers various different angles but not you know it's not the full turnaround angle that you expect but it's pretty decent enough the LCD screen quality is top notch. Uh, inside, you've got your cancellation button there to cancel your voice, which works excellently. The projector button, you've got your play functionality button, the light button for the flash to put it on and off, power button to switch the camcorder on and off, and then you've got, of course, the uh, memory card um, slot. Unfortunately, it's only one, not two. You've got your projector in and HDMI out as well. Now, disappointedly, again, you do not get any night shot. Model Down had the night shot, and for something that's almost a thousand pounds, it uh, it's really disappointing that Sony did not add the night shot. I, I love all of those night shot infrared. Uh, screen quality pretty good and you could see there there's the 5.1 channel being indicated to you the it shows you clearly where sound is being mostly picked up from that's pretty cool to have um on there illustrated by the side you get uh, quick access buttons that is customizable so if you want to quickly put the night mode on you could do so um the low locks button on you've got the different scene button so you could adjust these to uh, free functions that you could qu gain quick access to menu button you've it looks again high quality you've got the various options in there if we look at the image quality size i've selected higher so tend to enjoy that one the most you've got four different settings to highlight and then underneath it just shows you what's recordable or copyable for whichever media that you're using this handy cam for frame rates we're not looking at 60 50i 50p uh 25p as well for the cin cinematic look dual recording is there available uh whether you want that and you've got the image size as well again this ca this packs a 24.5 megapixel uh photo shoot which is awesome and then you've got the various settings for the camera that you could adjust put manually uh, medium set settings or just let it do everything automatically so the camera is packed with a um heck a load of features so so much it's got three different step settings within each uh functions that you go into touch screen is horrible um it really is horrible it's not like your smartphone touching the screen and it's nice and smooth you really have to press hard on that and that's touch screen you've got the various shooting mode slow motion mode um normal recording mode so it's all settable there various playback uh, functions that you have available editing functions for whether it's going out into your TV it's got a built-in Wi-Fi it's also NFC as well so you've got a load of options packed up with this camcorder uh, in main settings you could choose either external memory or internal now I'm going to show you that little dial button right there in front now I held the button and as you could see it brings out various dial settings or functions that you could select to adjust manually so if we select our exposure and um, there you go you could adjust your exposure level tapping it once will pull it to automatic for manual settings um, double tap I think yeah it double tap will put it to automatic settings tapping it again will put it on your manual again by just holding it you could change the various function another disappointed accessory that I was expecting to get that you don't get is a lens hood so I picked up from JJC the LHD V46 from Amazon lens hood which fits pretty much any um, camcorders. Be bear in mind it's a 40, I think it's 47 
um, millimeter 46 47 millimeter something like that it's okay but i would have preferred a sony official you know lens so that you would get specifically for this cam which you don't get so that's quite disappointing uh, the lens looks uh, lens looks all right it fits nice and comfortably it does look professional um, but it can it, it, it does somewhat obstruct the flash uh, I'll demonstrate that to you where rather you, so anything going downwards is going to block it but then again you're not going to have the lens hood on if you're going to be using the flash at night time you're going to have that lens hood off but just bearing that in mind I don't know there's various people out there uh, that got uh, that uses uh, things in uh, different ways so lens would look great on there unfortunately it doesn't come and even if i contacted sony it wasn't available via sony at all here's a quick look at that steady shot and you could see the lens there in regards to the image stabilization it works brilliantly the normal battery is fv 50 and it's only uh, 900 milliamp which again as i as, as i stated in the beginning will give you only like two three hours but if you go up to the fv70 we're looking at a good six to seven hours of uh, uh juice uh, recording time which is awesome so it, you know it, it does stick out a little bit but you, it does obstruct the viewfinder and then again you can lift the viewfinder up which is a uh, uh, great and handy to have um in general so it's a decent handy cam uh, viewfinder quality is not that great uh, nice and portable no lens hood which sucks no night shot as well which is very disappointing but in general it uh, it, it has wi-fi nfc if you're into all of those transfers um great camera so now i'm just going to demo some of the recordings that i did on this handy cam enjoy Başka bir gün. İstersen yürüyüp ama yürüyerek de yürüyorsun. Burayı gördüm geldi. 